to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. They can talk crazy on tweets. <gasps> they don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks out in the Jeep. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seat. Today's my first trip. My Well, not my first trip, but my first layover. I just put on my scarf. So it's, it's official. Your girl is going to... Miami, Florida, hello. I've never been to Miami. I never had the desire to go there, like to actually pay and stay there. So the fact that I'm going and getting paid for it, I'm excited, you know? It's lit, like what? Shorty going to Miami. So yeah, I got my uniform on, ready to go. So let's get out of here, let's go to Miami. Guys, I'm on the last floor. Per, 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 per. First, let me show you guys this view. Hold on. What? You can't really see it because the reflection, but wow, Miami. As soon as you walk in, you have this right here. This is your girl, okay. Serving, and then we have a little storage here. Mini fridge in the bottom. Somewhere to hang your clothes. You open the door, you have the bathroom, toilet, tub. You know, the stuff here. I just showed you this little view. Ow. And then, Come in two beds which is great I could use this for outside clothes and not outside clothes then you have the TV I turned it off so you guys can see the real the real thing a nice little table here and the best part is this view guys what what okay Miami I love it look how the Sun is setting I love It's a vibe.
saw that um, you can't, I can, I will, that's all. Yeah. yeah. I love this. Vanilla. What is it's it? Really good. Black beans. Activated charcoal. Guys, I am back in my room and I want to talk to you guys because it's freaking late. It is 1040. No. Wait, you see? This is why you can't trust hotel clocks. It's 1047, so that's 10 minutes ahead. So it's 1047 p.m. and I am in my room. And I am in Miami and I'm in my room at 10 on a Friday. And it's not because I want to. We have a report time of 5.30 a.m. I'm so sad. I didn't think I was gonna love Miami as much as I do. There's restaurants everywhere, I'm, I'm literally downtown downtown miami so the strip is right there and i just want to tell you guys a little bit about today i was on call for 12 hours my clock started at 1 15 a.m and it would have ended at 1 15 p.m but i got called at 10 30 a.m with this trip which started at original was 1 35 p.m but takeoff was supposed to be 2 20 but we got delayed of course and we left the airport at 3 30 p.m and we landed here at 7 20 p.m and then we hit heavy traffic coming to the hotel so we didn't get in until like eight so one of my co-workers and i we went and we got dinner and it was so much fun the vibes in miami hit different like everybody's just having a good time and it's just it's a vibe i wouldn't choose this as my like destination but if i wanted like a quick getaway i would definitely come back using my benefits tomorrow let me tell you a little bit about that so tomorrow we have like i said a report time for 5 30 shuttle time but we have to be at the airport by 6 10 to clock in and then our flight doesn't leave until 7 a.m and then did i say 6 p.m whatever in the a.m everything that i'm saying is a.m so we get to we, we fly from miami to newark airport we land at newark at 9 55 a.m and then from newark airport i am getting limoed to jfk limo in our uh industry well at least from our airline that that means not like we're in an actual limo i mean hey if they do that's great i've heard that it's happened before but it's basically like a taxi service that picks us up from newark airport and takes us back to our original base so they will always make sure that you get to your base that you started unless you um live in newark like in that area in jersey like one of our co-workers she's actually clocking out in newark airport so it doesn't make sense for her to go back to new york to then come back to jersey so she's gonna actually um clock herself out when she lands so she has a really short day we don't get back from newark to jfk until noon so my day is still pretty early but i have one more day that they can use me so they can either extend my day tomorrow and add me to another trip then i will come back on sunday but if they don't then i'll either be at home reserve again for 12 hours or i could be at airport standby which is for six hours so i'm hoping is neither and i just stay home or if we just get delayed a whole day here i wouldn't mind it <laughs> i packed my swimsuit and everything so it would have been awesome to to see the beach at least and i'm just excited like today it hit me 
because I'm like, this is my first layover. I'm like, I can't believe this is my life right now. Like what? Like I've been wanting to do this forever and I'm here, I'm doing it. Like it really hit me today. Like it really, really hit me today. Like my life is pretty freaking dope. Like I cannot, I cannot be more happy or gracious and I'm gonna just take it in. I'm gonna just lay down and put my let me put my alarm now actually i'm gonna put it for 450 450 so i could shower and all that although i just came out the shower i need to take another shower because miami is fucking hot it's so hot and what i need to do is i think i need to like upgrade my apple watch because I don't wear it because it's so old and it's the small one. And I want the I want to get the big body bends, you know? So so that way I could track my, my walking. Because as a flight attendant, you walk a lot. Okay? You walk a lot. I think I walked like I don't know. And we walked to dinner. I should have recorded that, but it's so hot. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me. I hope I've been vlogging as much as I could and you guys are experiencing my life through video because honestly speaking, I cannot freaking believe it. It's like every time I get a trip, I wanna pinch myself. I mean, at least layovers are my favorite so far, obviously because you get to stay wherever you're going. Uh, I have traveled to two different destinations. I went to Fort Lauderdale and I've never been there before, but I didn't make it out the airport. I did a turn and a turn is where you start somewhere, go there and come right back. My second trip, I went to freaking Haiti. What? But because of everything that's happening in Haiti, that's not a destination that we lay over. So we just literally, literally like did a turn. So... I went to Haiti, the people were amazing, the flight was fine. You hear a lot of things about um, different trips and I say go with it, go in there with an open mind and form your own opinion because a lot of people like to portray their fears or experiences on other. Just do it for yourself and then, like I said, you form your own opinion. And then this is my third trip, my first layover. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done being gassed, okay? Hey guys, so it's a new day. I'm checking in because I have a new flight and I'm flying to Cancun, Mexico. It is 3.40, no, 3.54 a.m. And I'm not gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm just gonna close out this video, but I do wanna let you guys know that I am not nervous, but excited because I'm going to Mexico, one. Two, I won't be staying there. It's just a turn. I explained that to you guys earlier and i'm flying as f1 for the first time which is the first flight attendant that makes all the announcement is has the most responsibility pretty much as far as everything so wish me luck i'll let you guys know in the next vlog how that went but i won't be bringing you guys along with this in this trip because i figured i'm going to be very busy since it's my first time and i'm not going to have any time to actually vlog so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one peace